So we are, let me see right now, 19 participants. Almost, almost. Okay, so let's see. The name of the unit. This one is Life Beyond Earth. So you need your book and open, please, on page number 51, because this one is the part of reading. Yes. Okay, and we discuss about this one Life Beyond Earth. I suppose that you listen to the audio, okay, for the reading part. And we have some target words that, in this case, is a part of the vocabulary. Yes, that we discussed today. For example, we have here, uh, let me see the first word that is contact. Okay, you know what is the meaning? Okay, contact is to communicate with someone. Yes, okay, this one is the meaning of the word, contact. When you uh, make a communication with other person, or maybe with a group of people. And then we have the second word that is entire, yes? Okay, entire, what is the meaning? This one is whole or complete. Yeah, these two words are synonyms of the word entire. Yeah, whole or complete. In this case, what's it called? Yes, okay, so this tool. Okay, for example, your tool is a book, your notebook, and then what you So, in this case, according to me, it's not going to be easy. Okay, what is the notebook? It's a book, or around the other. Okay, what is the meaning of that? This one is We are on page number three. Okay, so it's a part of reading comprehension. So please, uh, we just because I'm going to um, okay, what is the purpose of it? What do you consider? Is it B, C, or B? So, when you answer each box, what do you consider is the option? A, B, or B? Okay, so I think the answer is B. Okay, so you can please put it on B. Okay, Eunice says that it's letter B. Yeah. Okay, write in the chat box if you can see my screen, please because it's difficult to see the book, yeah? Okay, Eunice, letter B, Luis Campos, letter B, Ana Romero, no. Okay, I show my screen one more time. Um, yeah? Let's see. Okay, Eliseo, no, Miss, Ana Romero, no, yeah, okay. I don't see. Yeah, because in this moment, okay, I opened the page, but it doesn't work very well. Yeah, because this one has a lot of documents or a lot of pages. And it's not possible to see every page. So let's wait some minutes because this one is upload. Yes? Okay, so let's continue. Number two, what could be another title for the last paragraph? Okay, what is the last paragraph? The title that the paragraph has is Making Contact. Yes? Okay, so what is another title? What do you consider? A, B, C, or D? Okay, Latka, D. Yeah, this one is the answer. Letter D, Communicator with Intelligent Life. Yes? Okay, excellent. Now, number three, which reason for the existence of intelligent life is not mentioned? Mm -hmm. Okay, A, B, C, or D. What do you consider is that? Which reason? Okay, remember, we have to check the details. Okay, A, B, C, or D. Okay, number three, Sarah Hill said that is letter D. Yeah, this one is the answer, letter D. Okay, some other planets is the Milky Way have water. Yeah, this one is the answer, letter D. Now, number four, what kinds of planets are most likely to have intelligent life? What do you consider is the answer? A, B, C, or D? 
Okay, letter B, yes. This one is the answer. Air fries planets in other solar system. Okay, because this one, okay, you consider that in other planets are life. This one could be, okay, our solar system, the different planets. Number five, why doesn't Shafak think intelligent beings have visited Earth? A, B, C, or D? Uh -huh. Okay, number five. Letter B. Mm, could be possible. Okay, why doesn't Shostak think intelligent beings have visited her? Okay, that are waiting for us to contact them, or they don't have enough knowledge about Earth, or they are waiting for our technology to improve, or the distance to Earth is too great. Okay, in this case, the answer is the letter D. Thank you, Anna. Okay, the answer is letter D. Excellent. Number six, in lines 25 or 26, what does life forms refer to? Messages, radio signals, beings, or planets? Life forms. Yeah, this one is letter C, beings, exactly, okay? Remember, we have animals, we have uh, the human beings, we have the plants, okay, the trees, all of this one are life forms. And the last one of this part, the reading comprehension part. Okay, why does Shostak think we may make contact with intelligent life within the next 20 years? A, B, C, or D? Ah, yeah, this one is the letter A. Yes, this one is the answer. Okay, we make a review about the answer and you check if you circle the correct. Number one, B. Number two, the letter D. Number three, letter D. Number four, letter B, okay, in bold. Number five, letter D. Number six, letter C. And number seven, letter A, okay. Thank you very much for participating. Now we pass to the next page. This one is page number 54, okay? And in this case, we discuss about the reading skill. Okay, this one is an important skill because when you summarize, okay, you use a different kind of, uh, let me see, charts or maybe graph, okay, for summarizing the topics. For example, the last activity that we have, uh, when you graph like a hamburger, okay, when you write the main idea, the concluding sentences, yes, all of this one. This one is a kind of uh, skill, okay, when you summarize a topic. So in this case, we use a concept map. What is this one, okay? When you read, okay, a passage or when you read, uh, let me see, a paragraph, and then you put the most important information in a concept map that is similar to a spider web, yeah? Okay, so let's see. Let's read the, the, let me see the description that we have in this skill. Okay, when you summarize, you record the main ideas. Okay, remember, in every skill, first one, you look for the main idea of the paragraph or maybe for the passage. And key details of a text. A concept map can help you illustrate these ideas. Okay, in a clear and logical way. Remember, all of your ideas need to be with currents, okay, in a clear way, with a logical way. And it can help you organize and understand information better. Okay, when you use this one, a concept map uh, is easier to memorize the different things, okay. For example, if you study for a test, okay, for a quiz, if you develop a concept map, this one uh, is good, okay, because you memorize the most important word and when you are in the test, okay, you only write the answers and you remember the things that you do. Okay, in a concept map, the main ideas or concepts of the text are linked by words and phrases that explain the connection between the ideas. Okay, remember, in this part, we have two important things. First one, that you find the key details of the main ideas and then, okay, you look for the most important words, and this one are linked with all the information that you read. 
Yeah, and this one connect the ideas that you develop in the text. Okay, you can build a concept map by first starting with a main idea, the topic, or maybe the issue. Yes, then note the key concept that link to the main idea. The bigger and more general concepts come first, which are the link to a smaller, okay, the more a specific concept. So you start with the topic, you start with the main idea, and then the details, and at the end, okay, that's the more specific concept that you have in the in the passage. And you use linking phrases, okay, in words to connect the concept. What are this one? For example, uh, when you say in, or maybe when you say after that, okay, then, so you write this one and you link some words. Okay, now we analyze you read or you listen, okay, uh, the audio of the reading and we complete with some ideas of this passage in the concept map that you have here on page 54. So let's see, this one is life on other planets. This one is the title of this concept map. And you have to, let me see, two sub ideas or two subtopics. Might exist because or might be found by, yeah, okay, so, we divide this topic into things, might exist because or might be found by, yes? Okay, so let's see. Now, unlikely only one planet in, what do you consider is the answer number one? Only one planet in. Remember, we look for the answer in lines 51, okay, on page 51 and 52. Unlikely only one planet in, uh huh. Okay, the answer is let me see. I told you the, the line. This one is in line number eight. Okay, of the second paragraph. Line eight, second paragraph. And when you have the answer, please write in the chat. Just talk? No. Okay, unlikely only one planet in our solar system. No. This one is a number. Okay because then you have the word years. This one is a number, okay? And this one is online, 12 billion, exactly, Anna, okay? Unlikely only what planet in 12 billion years has developed life. Excellent, Fernanda, okay? So you complete this part, number one, 12 billion. Excellent. Now, number two. Universe is, uh -huh. what is the answer of this one? Universe is, this one is online, in line number 10. Okay, yes, okay, universe is huge, exactly, okay. Thank you, Eliseo, thank you, Gabby. With billions of stars and, what else? With billions of stars and, Huh? What do you consider is the answer? Planets? Uh, no. Yeah. Galaxies, exactly, Manuel. Yeah, this one is the answer. Galaxies, number three. With billions of stars and galaxies. Excellent. Then, number four. Using powerful Number four, this one is on in line number 16. Telescope, excellent. Using powerful telescope. So, excellent Luis, excellent Alejandra. So we can now see number five. Uh -huh. With the telescope we can see. We can now see. This one is a system. How we call the system that we can see with a telescope? Solar, exactly, Sarah. Yeah. So we can now see solar systems that we could not before. Okay. Excellent. Now, and the last one, number six. Making contact with intelligent beings using... Uh-huh. This one is in line number 23. Making contact with intelligent beings using 
what we use? We use different methods. Yeah, but what is the name of this method? Ah, yeah, Manuel, okay, radio signals. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, this one is the answer. Okay, we make a review of the answers. Number one, 12 billions. Number two, huge. Number three, galaxies. Number four, telescopes. Number five, solar. And number six, radio signals. Yeah, these one are the answers. Okay, now we pass to the last page, that is page 55. Okay, and this one is the vocabulary practice. Now we put in practice the vocabulary or the target vocabulary that we learned in the passage. Yeah, remember we have circle, search for, powerful, allow, identify, all of this one. Okay, the exercise eight, completion. Okay, we complete the sentences by circle, the correct word or phrase in each pair. So this one is a paragraph and you only circle the word that you consider is the answer. Does life exist on other planets? Scientists use different methods to answer these questions. Some use powerful or entire. Okay, powerful, exactly. Excellent, Anna. Excellent, Lapka. Gabby, too. Okay, powerful radio telescopes. They hope to receive tools or messages. Ah, okay, messages, yeah. They hope to receive messages from intelligent life on distant planets. Other scientists only, what is the action? Okay, search for, excellent. Other scientists only search for life in our solar system. But these scientists aren't only looking for intelligent life. They want to identify, yes, they want to identify any possible life forms. To do this, they have to test whether conditions on a planet would, okay, allowed any kind of life to exist. Yes, excellent. So, number one, powerful. Number two, messages number three search for number four identify and number five allowed yeah good job now the part b words in context we complete each sentence with the correct answer and remember we put in practice one more time the vocabulary that we learned in the passage okay number one we measure distance in a or B? Kilometers or kilograms? Yeah, this one is eight kilometers. <laughs> it's not possible in kilograms. This one is for food and other things. Yeah, it's not for distance. Okay, number two. Some examples of tools are A or B. Ah, okay, Gabby. Telephones and laptops. For example, in this moment, this one is your tool. Maybe your cell phone, maybe your laptop. Uh, let me see, maybe uh, your book, okay, a pen or pencil, this one are your tools, yeah? It's the pen of the, maybe the profession, or it's the pen of the, the, the things that you do, yes? Okay, number three. If you contact someone, you uh -huh, meet or communicate with or research and write about. Yeah, this one is letter A. If you contact someone, you meet or communicate with him or her. Yeah, we develop this activity every day. We communicate with our friends, with our family, with our parents, etc. Number four, if you have lived in a place your entire life, you have lived there some or all. Okay, all of your life. Yes, if you have lived in a place your entire you have lived there all of your life. Excellent. And number five, if a spaceship circles a planet, it goes around or lands on. Yes, goes around. Excellent. If a spaceship circles a planet, it goes around the planet. Yeah, the circle around this kind of planet. Okay, let's make a review of the answers. Number one, letter A. Number two, 
letter B. Number three, letter A. Number four, letter B. And number five, letter A. Yes? Okay, so let's see. Now we pass to the word partnership. What is this one? Okay, so we have some uh, words here. That this one you have in the yellow uh, box that you have on your book. And this one is on page 55. Use message with verbs and adjectives. Okay, you can use in two ways. As a verb, give someone a message. Leave a message. Take a message. Get a message. Send a message a message yeah we have different options okay and you have different verbs for using this word okay you have give leave take get and send yeah okay now as an adjective okay clear message okay important message powerful message and a strong message okay that's mean this one is an this uh, characteristic of a verb, okay? So let's see, you have two uses, as a verb and also as an adjective. And you have the different ways for using, yes? Okay, now give me a sentence. For example, uh, with the expression, send a message, okay? Give me a sentence, send a message. Okay, let me see. Give me an example with this expression or with this phrase. Send a message. I send messages every day to my friends. Okay, excellent. Good example. Okay, now as an adjective. Uh, let me see. Important message. Uh-huh. As an adjective, important message. I send a message to my brother. Excellent. You send me a message. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. She wants to send a message to her favorite friends. Excellent. I receive an important message, yes. I have an important message, excellent. The Bible gives us important messages, yeah. This one is, he sent me a message. Yeah, good examples, excellent. Today I receive an important message, okay? So every day we receive important messages, yeah? Specifically when we receive this message, these messages from a friend. Uh, that's a very important message. Yeah, okay, excellent, excellent job. You must read this important message. Ooh, excellent sentences. Okay, so now we develop all the exercises in our book. We develop the reading comprehension part, okay, the reading skills and the vocabulary practice, yeah. Uh, every week, okay, we develop one unit. That means today we develop the unit for eight. The next week we develop the unit for B. Yes? Okay, so this one is all for us. Thank you for participating in the class. Thank you very much for being here. And I'm glad to see you again. Okay, so, and I appreciate yeah, your participation in the class. Thank you very much. And remember, you need to send me the pictures, okay, of the pages that we were today. That's me, just some pictures about pages, let me see, 53, okay, 54 and 55, yeah? You have my, my WhatsApp number, okay, on your agenda, so please, when we finish, or maybe when you finish the other class, you take the photos and you give me the, the work that you developed today, yes? Okay, thank you very much. Take care, please, and I see you the next week. Yeah, if you have some doubts, please write me. Yes, thank you very much, all of you. Okay, bye. See you the next week. Bye bye. Okay, bye, William. Bye, Gabby. Okay, thank you, Leseo. <laughs> okay, bye, Anna. Bye, Gabby. Blessings. Yeah, God bless you. Bye, Luis. Bye, Debbie. Thank you very much. Okay, see you in the next week. Bye, boys and girls. Okay, bye, Debbie. Bye, Eunice. God bless you too. Yes? Okay, bye bye.